What's happening, fam? LA Y'all Movement Still Moving. The book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link there also. They asked me to put it up, so I'll put it up. Thank you, everybody, for supporting. But this video is entitled Being Aggressive Can Change Your Luck. When I was a kid, um, I had an old football coach. He used to tell us, you know, I need three things from you, the three A's. Alignment, assignment, and aggressive. Know where you're supposed to be is alignment. Know what you're supposed to do as in your assignment. And be aggressive. Now, very simple things, but they work tremendously in life. If you, you know, um, know where you're supposed to be, know what you're supposed to do, and you do it to the best of your ability. A lot of, but when I'm talking about life, a lot of times life can, is, is difficult. Life can beat you down, right? If you let it. And what will happen is life will have you on the defense. And sometimes so, there are people, you know, tactically speaking, you know, if you can master defense, you can be more aggressive. But that works in tactics as in like battle tactics, military strategy, fighting, um, sports, right? Defense wins championships type of ideology. But even when you have a defensive mindset, you have to be aggressive. And when you're aggressive, it changes your, your, your luck. And why I say that is because you know, America is um, a go-getter type of society that you're born into. And usually, when you're aggressive, you get the breaks. from You, you catch breaks from being aggressive. Don't, and some people are so concerned about, well, I can be aggressive and maybe hurt myself or cripple myself or, you know, knock myself out, which, which is absolutely true. But normally... It's people who are, aren't aggressive that are unlucky. You know, and I'm not saying, when I say aggressive, I'm not talking about being reckless. What I'm saying is aggressive as in doing something in the best of your ability. You know, no half-stepping. You get what I'm saying? No, 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 um, no being on the fence. You just all in. If you're going to do it, you're going to do it all the way. You're not going to do it a piece. You know, you're going to give it everything you got. Because when you're giving it everything you got, all of a sudden, things happen in your favor. Now, New Year, I'm just saying, give you things to think about. When you're on, when you're aggressive, you get the breaks. You know, think about it. Because... Life has its momentum. And sometimes when, you, when you're a more defensive person, you can't build momentum constantly on the defense. You know, even the most defensive fighter builds momentum with offense. You can't win by taking punches. You got to give some punishment. You use defense as a way to be able to take less punishment and give more punishment. You don't just sit there and just, you know, take an ass with it. So when you're aggressive, all you got to do is put pressure on whatever you need to put pressure on. So whatever you're doing in life, if you want to do, you know, reach a certain space, you're going to have to go at it aggressively. People, everybody wants to be a millionaire, well, or rich. Well, you're going to have to go after whatever dream, aspiration, or goal you have in an aggressive manner. You can't wait for it to happen. You got to go get it. And when you're going to get it, you know, you're going to get, catch some lucky breaks along the way. You know, some people are just, and truth be told, like some people are in the right place at the right time. And some people are just luckier than other people. But normally good things happen to you when you're going, you know, when, you, when you've decided to go at something. 
just look at the principle of it. When a person, you know, steps out on faith, you know, the thing about stepping out there, stepping out on faith is you, you know, you're going to be scared, you know, but, and you're going to, it's going to be, um, um, unexpected. It's, you're going to be trailblazing. It's going to be a journey that you don't have control over or know what's coming at you next. But the thing about it is it forces you to go at it aggressively. You don't have time to, to just ball up in the fetal position and just hope for the best. You have to make some things happen. And like, and, and now sometimes I will say this people who are trying to be aggressive, you can wind up being aggressive in the wrong way and you're just doing whatever, trying to get over and you have no uh, ethics, morals, or integrity about what you're doing. You know, that's that's not, that's, that's not because we look at uh, being an opportunist as being aggressive. And I don't, you know, I don't look at it that way, me personally, but it, it can be looked at as that also. So I'm just stating that that does happen. But when you're aggressive, you know, all of a sudden, you know, you can stumble into something or something can stumble into you just out of sheer hustle, right? You know, coaches, you say, if you hustle, good things can happen. You can be a ball hawk. Why? Because you hustle, which, which means you're just so aggressive. You're trying to go get it. You just wind up at the right place at the right time or you just wind up in a space where you can actually make something happen because you hustled your butt off to get to to that space and now you can take advantage of whatever moment presents itself because you're so aggressive you're landing in these um pivotal moments or these 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 life-changing moments that all of a sudden start to occur over and over and over again you know, because you're being aggressive, you know, sometimes how people have been, how, how, how you wind up seeing people is because what it stands out of the, is their aggressiveness, is, is their go-getter um, action over and over and over again. You start seeing them over a period of time and you're like, you know what, they're consistently at it because you can be aggressive and make and your impact could happen immediately or your impact can have happen over time but what's going to always happen is you're going to get noticed you know it, it, it you know being aggressive is not one of those things that people don't see being a go getter is not one of those things that people just ignore like now a lot of times people may have their own little insecurities and barriers and they want you to prove they may want you to prove your worth more than other people. You know, two people can be equally aggressive and equally as productive, but and, and have equal the amount of breaks. But the difference is the perception of how other people watching them viewed. You know, I, I like this person, so I'm gonna. I like to see them shine. I don't like this person, so I don't like to see them shine. That. But both people are being aggressive in the same way and doing the very same thing. But and they're gonna get breaks because the thing about it is, you know, you can't control people, but people can't control the universe. So at some point, whatever you're doing, you know, your good karma will come also from being aggressive. You know, you're not. And the thing about being aggressive is nobody takes it personal. Like, if you're just out there as a go-getter, everybody understands. Go-getters understand that everybody is going to get it. They're not trying to um, stab you in the back or cut your throat to go to get it. There's still a certain code of conduct when you're being aggressive. But because you're being aggressive, you don't have to. See, some people think, you know, you, you're going to lose friends or lose family or lose this, lose that, and the third. No. When you're in, a, when you're in that, that space... And everybody's going to get it. Everybody's going to get it. Like, you know, you know, you salute to everybody. 
And that's the one thing that some people don't realize, you know, that everybody, you know, is going to get it. They're just not going to get it at the exact same time. And sometimes if you're not a hater at heart, if a, if you see, if your group is being aggressive, if you're aggressive and you around, you have a team that's aggressive or you see multiple teams that's aggressive, you're going to, you're going to real, and, and you see them all get breaks. A lot of times people get discouraged because it didn't, ha I didn't get my break. So this is wrong, but that's, that's, that, that's a bad way to look at it, you know? It's an understandable feeling, but it's a bad way to look at it because you realize, okay, well, I didn't get my break today. They got theirs today. I'm not going to get mine today. You may get yours tomorrow, next week, next year, six years from now. And here's the thing about that before I end. You might wind up with more than the person that got it before you if you just keep being aggressive you get what i'm saying like you don't you you don't know um you can't control the the the, the breaks you get or, or the bounces that go your way they're just gonna happen and when they happen they're yours right you know you can't you it's meant for you so at the end of the day you gotta understand like you know be aggressive it works for you you know, it, it ironically, that's how life is set up. You know, the early bird gets the worm, but the early ver bird isn't passive. The early bird is aggressive, right? The, how does the lion feed the pride? By being aggressive, right? I got to go get it. Alpha male, alpha dog mentality. You got to go get it, right? Nobody has ever said, you know, we want the most passive people on the planet to get it done. You know, even in a, in a biblical sense, the meek shall inherit the earth. Being humble. Being humble is a good thing. Being meek is a good thing. But let's be honest. Uh, that doesn't mean you're, they were passive. <laughs> They're not pacifists. They're just humble people. Humble people can be aggressive. Meek people can be aggressive. You know, don't, don't confuse um, um, context with a person's nature. And, and how that nature pans out in life and society. So, I'm going to end this one. We out. Peace.